sun, sea, blue skies. One of the places you must go to eat when you're on South Beach in Miami. A romantic Italian dining experience. Scarpetta, right here at the Fontainebleau Hotel. Now it's time for a delicious dinner. I'm here with Chef Marlon. So today, I hear I'm going to have some snapper. Florida. Local Florida yellowtail. Excellent. We lightly marinated it with yep. some fresh thyme, some Lovely. fresh pepper. Then we're going to simply pan sear that. Let's get started. Shall we? So here we have some olive oil. Yes. Pan's nice and smoky hot. Now we're just going to lightly season our fish, a little bit of salt, Lovely. skin side down. Yeah. So only that side has been cooked. You're not touching the top. Correct. The fish is moving nicely. So it's going in the oven. Time for the sauce? Absolutely. Would you okay. pass me the olive oil, please? Yes, sir. How much? Perfect. Perfect, he said. I feel like you've been cooking your whole life. I have. So we have the fregola, basically an Italian couscous. It's yes. been toasted to get a nice nutty flavor out of it. Now right. we're going to have a fricassee of vegetables. So we have some baby so carrot, that. fennel for some sweetness. Fennel, I love fennel. Onion, we're going to quickly saute that together. And now we're going to add the fregola. Just let that warm through. Yes. It's going to have a little alcohol, maybe? Of course. Ah. What would be food without a little bit of alcohol? Alcohol, butter, whatever. Now we season that up with a little bit of espalette again and salt. Lovely. He's very big on this. Woo! And I think we're ready to deglaze. So here we have some dry vermouth right in there. Now we're going to deglaze with the perno. Wonderful anise flavor, but it's very strong. Oh, yeah, I love this. So we're just going to put a touch of that in there. Let's have a little more. Why not? There you go. Smell that beautiful aromatic coming yes, out of that Yes, it's gorgeous. Pan. Very creative. Just double checking him Making on the sure. seasoning. You could get drunk on this. Off the heat, we're going to add a touch of lemon juice. Mm, I love this. This is a dish alone. It's going to complement the snapper wonderfully. Fabulous. And that's ready to go. I have a puree of artichoke. OK. For garnish? Correct. That's going to go on the bottom of the plate. Nice, moussey. How's our poor little fish? Now, how long do you like to have it in the oven? For a fish of about this size, roughly 5 to 10 at the most. We still want it to be nice and opaque in the center, yep. as you can see. Beautiful, crispy skin on the other side. Gorgeous. Still almost medium in temperature. Yep. So now we're going to rest our fish. Right. A nice uh, roasted root vegetable in the oh. rutabaga. So this is going to add a wonderful vinegar element. Adds a little acidity. Very posh. Nice golden caramelization on there. Excellent. We're going to deglaze with some sherry vinegar. Now we've got sherry. He's got so much alcohol back here. The salsa fee is going to pick up all those flavors. Yes. And then we're going to add some dark chicken stock, right. reduce it down until it's nice and tender. When we're all finished, this is what it's going to look like. Beautifully oh glazed. Oh, my God, that smells incredible. It's assembly time. Let's go. So here we have our beautiful puree. It's very complex. We have that wonderful salsa fee and that natural jus that we made, the reduction of that. Here we have our my favorite. of fregola. Let me just check it. See, it's still as good. And check that seasoning, please. Mm. And here we have a beautiful emulsion of mushroom, right. fennel, and artichoke. Now, we're not foaming it. We just want to breathe some air into it. And here we have our crisp snapper. Pretty dish. Foam around just to tie everything together. Some micro basil, some amaranth. Lovely. That's going on fish. Final garnish. Exactly. Bon appetit. Bravo. Well, I've got to try this vegetable first. Rutabaga. These vegetables are outstanding. They stand alone. It's time for the fish. Historic. Mmm. Mmm. This is really fresh. I have an inside secret for you. Ah. Would you like to take a look? Yes, tell me. I'm going to take you to Waterworld and meet Chef Thomas. What is That's that? our fountain blue secret. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm off to Waterworld. Everyone talks about the fresh seafood here at the Fontainebleau, but I have now discovered the secret. They have this amazing facility, Waterworld, that only celebrities get to see. I'm here with the head chef of the building, Chef Thomas. I'm told that this is a 2,000 gallon water tank and that the fish here comes in just from your boat. That's correct. The trick to handling them is obviously watch the claws, make sure you don't get pinched, you know, but look at the size of that thing. Ay, 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 that is a crab. This product is going to uh, retail in the restaurants for about $600. Gorgeous. What else does Neil have here? Maine lobster. He'll take your finger right off. Really? No question. Yeah, yeah, no question. That's this one needs a dentist. Put it back before you lose your finger. Exactly. This is spiny a lobster. local spiny lobster. Aha! 
Yeah. A violent spiny lobster. Yes, he is. Okay, I'll stand got back, got please. Him. Got him. But now we're seeing who's brave. Woo! That's a good sign, by the way. I'd like this spiny lobster to end up in my Mediterranean salad very soon to punish it. It shall be done. Upstairs in the Scarpetta kitchen, we've got a Florida spiny lobster. We're going to marinate that. A little extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, salt, a little bit of espalette pepper. It's a sweet pepper, so it's yeah. not spicy. Works very well with shellfish. Fresh basil. So we're marinating them separately? Correct. What's the reason? So everything just doesn't run together. Some baby heirloom tomatoes, olive oil again. A little more basil. Of course. A little salt. Pepper. And then we add the peaches. The acid in the tomato is going to cut down the peaches a little bit. Right. So it's start to release some of that liquid from the peaches. Here we have our stracciatella. Cheese. Exactly. A buffalo mats from Lovely. the Lazio region, Campania. Yep. We pull that, and that's going to soak up all those wonderful flavors. Pesto, broccoli rabe. Broccoli, yeah. Pine nuts, olive oil. Gorgeous. We're just going to drizzle that on the bottom of the plate. That's going to be the bed. Pickled mustard seeds. Lovely. Add a nice acidity and a little bit of pepper yes. as well. This looks delicious. Next, we have our marinated peaches and okay. tomato. Drizzle all those juices on the bottom. Let me just check it then. Check the seasoning there, make sure we're on point. Mm. Excellent. And now we have the lobster. Pretty plate. Here we have some balsamic vinegar that we made some pearls just to mimic the caviar effect. Very unusual. I haven't seen that before. Pickled eggplant. Just to add some of that peppery spice as well. What about the arugula? We're going to toss that with a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice as well. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of basil oil. Time to taste. I've got the cheese, tomato, spiny lobster, peach. It's a big bite. Get all those flavors coming together in your mouth. Delicious. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Pleasure.